Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Sector. We will carry on with our little fleet and hopefully make some more money. Ooh, can we stop these guys? They got a freighter on. They're pursuing my fleet. Catch up to me, please. Whew. Uh, they've got a freighter and the lasher, so if you can get rid of the lasher, the freighter will be no problem whatsoever. Let's move in to engage. I also said this uh, time around that we're going to be trying out uh, and playing around with the ab abandoned station, which I think is what they have so far instead of... Um, Don't just stand in front of me. It hurts if you just stand in front of me. Molar cannons deal damage. That's where the good combination of kinetic damage and explosive damage. Kinetic damage forces them to put down their shields or go into overload, and kinetic damage will destroy them. We can send out the salvage teams, or we can just harry the enemy reserves and then pursue them and take out their. Freighter in the process. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned. Did I mention these already? Yeah, certain like maps will have like, certain satellites in space that you can capture like uh, points and on, on like a oh in an RTS map for example. Nav boys increase range, um, increase or increase your speed, and remove the penalties for flying inside a nebula. Sensor arrays act like huge arrays, uh, like huge um, like maps things, so you can see around them. It removes fog of war. That's what I'm looking for. Right. Let's catch up to this guy. Ooh, flame out. Flame out? Not quite. I just keep like pummeling the back of him with, with this needle until he, until he puts down the shields, at which point I get to whack him for a bit. You don't vent in front of me. <laughs> it's a very bad idea. You got a shield up again, doesn't matter. There you go. Boom. Oh yeah, explosions for ships deal damage around them. Like, the bigger the ship is. Like, I was playing uh, my single player game, and I was fighting sort of cruiser v cruiser, and one of my little, like, frigates was just, like, in there doing a really good job in like keeping the cruiser busy and like pummeling its shields and what have you and then the shield of the, of, the, of the enemy cruiser went down and I just hit it with everything I had on my main from my main cruiser and it blew up and it took the frigate with it and I was like ah oh, damn okay so here we go you send out the salvage teams you send out the salvage teams to secure the wrecks for the most recent engagement if it doesn't give you the money immediately and you can see here that's stopped being disabled it's because that is now boardable um you can board it, see if you can get some money out of it. Okay, we've got three marines to send on. Oh god! Uh, three marines. And we can hard dock and attack ship to ship. Hard dock is easier because you can't... It's faster. But if the enemy ship blows up, like if they activate self-destruct or whatever, which is a random event, it will deal damage to possibly destroy your ship in the process. As your assault teams start to overcome the ship, it self-destructs. It's a deal of damage to my ship. And it killed three crew and two marines. Oh god. Ah, so I've lost two of my marines. Let's grab, all, okay, let's grab all this stuff. Okay, we are way overloaded again. But instead of going to sell this stuff, which I could do, I am going to see if I can drop it off. Where are we? We are over there. I'm going to go to the abandoned space station and drop it off. Although I'm being chased. I'm being chased. I'm being chased. Oh, okay. Listen, we're overloaded, so we're, we're spending a lot of uh, supply. A lot of supplies being going into literally just keeping <laughs> this extra supplies around. So we want to get there as soon as possible. Wait, this is an independent mercenary force. Going around, killing things. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Abandoned storage facility. I think this is what they have so far, as opposed to giving you a player base, because there's nothing here. Uh, repair my ships. Um, I can transfer stuff here. Uh, let's transfer a lot of this fuel. We don't need all the fuel. We don't need any fuel at the moment, so I'm just going to remove a lot of the fuel. Um, let's remove half the supplies as well. Um, sort them out. Okay, we've got. We're, we're bordering on the minimum crew requires. Because we need 20 crew, we've got 21. Um, but yeah, I think we're good. So yeah, we can start stocking up here. That is useful in as much as A, you can save you money later on. And B, if you ever lose um, your ships, like if you lose completely like your ship and you lose combat, so basically you have no remaining ships, what this game will do is it will basically stick, it'll basically start you in a random part of the galaxy with a new starter ship. Like it says, you just managed to escape in your shuttle pod, managed to find your way back to civilization and encounter a new um, ship, whatever. Right, but see, ooh, freighter, that's, that's, that's purely a freighter, that's nothing else. Come on! Also, you don't want it hard too much, because you need money. I mean, you get money from Rex, but you'd want money as well. Here we go. Let's pursue them, and take personal command. Again, it's trying to run away, but we will deploy it and go after it. Come on, come on, come on. Catch up, catch up, catch up. It's immediately gone into retreat, so I could end the battle now and technically win, but I'd get nothing for it. So you want you want to be able to chase him down. Okay, so he's three hundred space three thousand space units away. We both have burn drives. Except I'm, 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 oh my god, I, I need to get out of I need to get out of, the, get out of here. Uh, the nebula's gonna slow me down a lot. Right. He's turned on his burn drive. I've turned on my burn drive. My burn drive is better than his burn drive, so I will be closing the distance slowly. There we are. There he is. His shield comes up. Doesn't matter. My needler starts dealing damage to his shields. Oh, I missed that. You do it. Ideally, you want to start dealing damage to. Oh god, that was probably a bad idea. Yep. We are in front of him now, so... Okay, we are just, we're just behind him, so we can have some fun by constantly planking his shields, forcing him to lower his shields, hit him in the engine. I think we cause a flame out part of his engine. We damage part of his engine, I think. There you go, flame out. The engines are off. He's sitting, he's sitting dark. He's venting as well. He's venting, and I'm dealing, <laughs> I'm dealing damage to his hull faster than he can vent. Engines online, well done. Oh, nice. He's about to go out of range. That's one of the problems with ballistic weapons, is that if you continue to fire, will make them less accurate. Because recoil in space. Uh, okay, we'll grab all of those and we will go sell them this time. Uh, where is the best place to sell them? We're over here. We're going to go to the orbital station and sell some of this stuff. Because, yeah, we want to upgrade our ships. Like, these are fine for early game. But again, having no shields is a huge disadvantage. Like, he's, he's really powerful. Like, the ability to, to mount a heavy mauler is evil. But it's really, really, really incon uh, inconvenient. Right, it's 80. We can get 80 out of this. Can we? T? Boom. Okay, so we, we earned about 7,500 credits. What are we, what should we be looking forward to getting? I'm not going to get it by one now. I haven't got enough money for it. What ships are good ships? Um, I'm not a huge fan of hegemony ships in general. Um, they've got some good ships that come here. Uh, the, that ship is generally... That, the, that is like the standard... Uh, the Hammerhead is the standard 
destroyer, I think. Uh, what I consider the standard destroyer. It's got a bit of everything. It's got some point defense. It's got some big guns. It's got some missiles. Works out nicely. Uh, combat freighters. This is basically Sunder class. Basically has one big laser in the middle, and then everything else supports that. A carrier for fighter uh, for fighters. You can carry fight. You can take fighters without carriers. But without a carrier, you cannot replace lost fighters, for example. So if I take these guys without a carrier, if they lose their fob, they're done with. Um, but a carrier lets them basically replace some fighters. Also, what a carrier does is let you... Um, like, if you have a bomber, especially torpedo bombers, when, like, once they fight their torpedo, they're useless. So, but if you've got a carrier, they can go back and rearm. Uh, so you want, you want a carrier if you want to have fighters in your team. So what do I want to get, though? There's nothing I particularly want. Like, that one isn't bad. Like the, uh, was it, Brawler class. It has no point defense at all. Everything it has is pointing forward. You cannot move the shield around, but it can carry, you can carry two big guns. So you usually put two big heavy maulers on that, and very few things can t uh, deal with that. Especially if they haven't got shields. If they haven't got shields, they cannot deal with two heavy maulers. Um, again, no shield, no shield. Yes, shield, but only a front shield. This is an arc shield, it has an arc shield. Uh, this is a tanker, so we can carry extra fuel. And a couple of... Remember, we looked at these a couple, of, a couple of videos ago and just weren't happy with the results. So, there's nothing here I particularly want. So I'm going to get out of here. And let's see if anything... Where is... There it is. Let's go see what, what the Tritachion Corporation has for us. Okay, what do we got here? Oh god, it's gonna catch up to us. Yes. How did they catch up to us? Oh, <laughs> wow, they got really low combat readiness. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll take them out. None of them have shields and they got really low combat readiness. So I'll, I'll take my chances. Okay, so we're dealing with the Buffalo class. So we gotta keep an eye out for the missiles. And basically keep them moving sort of orthogonal to it so that our. Vulcans get a chance to deal with the missiles. Which they do, luckily, because Vulcans are really good at dealing with missiles. Fragmentation damage is good for dealing with missiles. Oh god, flame out, flame out, flame out, flame out! That flame out's horrible. Antimatter blasters online! Horrible. No, 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 no. Run. Burn, 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 burn. The antimatter blaster will completely screw me over. Horribly. Horribly. The enemy is defeated. Okay, it's retreating. He's retreating. And he's facing the way. So, if you're facing the way, you can't. your antimatter blaster is not going to help me. Uh, boom. There we go. Cool, that's that done. Hopefully we can also chase down the um, other ship. Harry that. It's moving to disengage, so it will be... Like, there's nice, little, nice stories are told in this area. So, I'm harrying the enemy reserves. Your forces harry the enemy, forcing the reserves to cover the retreating ships before they can fully disengage. So I can disengage now. I can let them go. Or no, I can harry the retreat even further. Or I can just pursue them. And hell yeah, we're going to pursue them. I think we're, we're generally going to be faster than them anyway. Because we got better shit. We got a uh, better speed. Like his speed is 101 for some reason. Whereas my speed, standing still speed, is like 160. There we go. There we go. We also want to stay. If, if you look at. We've really got the same ships. This is a blind arc for him. So we want to stay in that arc for him. Like in that side. So he can't get his heavy molar to bear. Fighting arcs are important, as you might have figured out. This arc here is really, really interesting, because that is basically a complete blind spot for my ship. Oh, I can board that one. Do I want to board it, though? Do I want to board it, though? <sighs> Do I want to board it? No, I'm not going to board it. I haven't got the crew to mend those ships anyway, so I'm just going to shoot it to pieces. Get some money out of it. Get some of that out of it. 
Okay, I've leveled up. Sweet. Um, so I've got one point to spend. So I can increase... Ooh, can I increase? I can increase... Combat's high and increase our damage and our speed. Those things I like to focus on. Having good speed is always useful. Right, and back on to Corvus 4. Take a while for us to get there, sadly. But we need to run. Also, we can't hyper jump to it. There are certain things you can hyper jump to. You can hyper jump to big planets, so we could take a hyper jump from Corvus 2 to Corvus 3. Because they all, all or they all orbit at different speeds, so that they be, um, which is quite fun. They all orbit in real time at different speeds. So there are times when Corvus two and Corvus one are really close, and Corvus three is over here, and you can get moments where everything's really, really disparate. So yeah, there are jump points in the system. So the jump point right here, which is just at the edge of the system, the jump point around Corvus two. So this is where you can get out of the system. You can either jump in at the jump points around big gas giants, a Corvus 3 is a big gas giant, or around the star. But around the star apparently you need a high navigation scale to be able to jump in around a star. Or that is what the fluff text says anyway. That's our abandoned storage facility. Do you want to jump anything off in there? Do you want to pick up anything? I wonder if you want to pick up the um, some of those supplies to sell off I want to sell them off. I want to earn some money so I can get myself a nice, better frigate. <sighs> but yeah, it's a nice little slow flight through space. I enjoy it. It's a fun game. Um, I've been playing it quite a bit, actually. More than I thought I would. But yeah, it looks nice. It's got some nice combat. It's got a lot of potential, I think. I'm looking forward to see what they can do with this in the future. Anyway, let's trade. Um, sell a Vulcan. Sell about 82 worth of resources. Good. Which means we've got about 26,000 um, to play around with. What have we got here? Like, I like the ships here better. Like that's, I like that cruiser. That is a nice, pretty sweet cruiser. Apogee class cruisers are pretty cool. Um, you got some phase ships, they have phase ships, like phase phase frigates and phase frigates. Phase don't, don't instead of having shields, they just go out of phase with reality. So they basically avoid all damage when they're out of phase. But being out of phase generates flux. That's the uh, flip side. We can get some we can get oh yeah, this is the Tempest class, which I really like as well. You can get some really fun stuff with the Tempest class. It's fast, it's a speedy little thing. And it's got some nice shields, and you can pick up some. You can put some good weapons on it. Might grab that actually. Um, also, these are pretty good as well. That's expensive actually. It's a lot expensive, more expensive than I thought. And I don't think I'll be able to kit it out very well. Um, choices, choices. So if I click on that, yeah, the Tempest class frigate hull. Um, it's fast, little thing, it's got a shield you can move around, the crew complements, it, it can carry a lot less stuff, like our guy can carry a hundred supplies, this guy can carry thirty. Um, he's fast though, like, his maximum burn is eight, which means his maximum burn outside for me at the moment is going to be nine, which means I can catch up to pretty much anything. I don't think I've seen things go faster than nine. Um, I'll stick a carnival, uh, this one, which is the... F Afflictor class frigate hull, which has even less cargo capacity. But I can. I wonder if I can grab them both. Can I actually just not sell this? Like I was thinking about maybe maybe selling the current ship, but just not selling it. Don't sell the current ship. Just buy. Uh, we'll buy the T TTS Carnabon because I can do a lot of damage with that one as well. Uh, refit the TTS Carnivon. Make this be our main ship. What are we going to put here? We need to put a point defense laser. We could put uh, a couple of rail guns. Now we need something to deal damage. Something that can deal damage for us. Something that will hurt. Um, like rail guns, not going to deal damage. Unfortunately. 
the moment, there's nothing big. I want to put assault guns there, but I have I don't see any assault guns here at the moment. So I'm not going to put anything on those slots. I'm going to save them and go back and pick something else up later on. Um, increase the vents, increase our capacitors for now. We can just remove them later on without a problem. And increase the uh, magazine size. And if I remove one of the vents, I can increase my unstable react uh, injector, which means I can increase my burn speed and my combat speed. Uh, weapon groups. That's that. Cool. This will change a lot when I get um, my other weapons. But for now... Oh, not enough crew. Whoops. Uh, let's buy some crew. Um, buy 10 veteran crew. Uh, cool. Uh, 10 veteran crew. Let's buy a couple more marines. Buy 9 marines. We have 10 marines. Also, for example, uh, because as the game goes on, you have more and more like supply convoys arrive at stations, so you have more, you have better and better ships as the game goes on. But here we go. We have. We want to get to. Oh, we want to get to. Before the end of this video, I will deck out, hopefully, the new ship with the better guns, and then make it my main ship. Because at the moment, it's not my main ship because it's not fully equipped. It can deal with shields, but it can't deal with it hull very well. So we want to give it some light assault guns to just take the hull apart. See, the hegemony supply convoy has delivered new equipment to the orbital station, which means there's more, there's better stuff there now. There's more stuff and better stuff. And because you, at the moment, you see the only person who buys stuff from these stations. Oh, and then the tri on corporate supply fleet has docked, so they've also got an increase in what they've got available. So once that's gone down, like the pirates have their own, like pirates, uh, pirate raiding fleets, Par pirate plunder fleets. That's the one. Pirate plunder fleets supply the pirate base, and as as game time progresses, more stuff is available. Okay, let's see what they've got. Can we refit you with um, what have you got? Light auto cannons. You have not got assault guns. You got light mortar, which isn't great. It's something, but it's not brilliant. You have not got um, auto cannons. They're kinetic damage. But we want something that deals better damage. IR pulse laser, maybe like. I could do with an antimatter blaster because that will deal a hell of a lot of damage, to, uh, like non-shieldy things. But that requires nine. Okay, we need, we need to free up eighteen. So that was eight. We need to free up another ten. Magazines can go away. Um, that's eleven. Nine to go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And will that work out? I can put one there. One there. Increase. Vents. Um. Right. How do we want to set this out? Um, no, we do not want it like that. We want to put that there because we don't want to have to be able to fire the antimatters and the rail and the railguns at the same time. If we want that, railguns will be on that on those on the group group, and they can auto fire. The railguns can fire by themselves because, again, they're limited to their forward arc, so they're not really going to fire to targets I don't really want them to fire at. Um, now, what are we going to do? Are we going to. Are we going to simulate this, or are we just going to assume it works? That's simulated. Never assume it works. It's a waste of money if I do that. Right, let's see if it takes out this. Here we go. This is the new Afflictor class we've got. It's faster than a previous ship by quite a bit, although it does not have a burn drive. It does have active flare launchers, so we can go... Oh! Nope, dodge. That's what they're for. You can just dodge. Ah. You can drop the flare launchers though, and the flare launchers to help them deal with the... Uh... Uh, that's the problem with, with antimatter, there's a lot of flux in antimatter. Fire the antimatter guns and the flux just goes through the roof. Uh, 
Oh, but yeah. <laughs> Get a couple of hits in and the antimatter completely screws people over. Uh. Uh. You have to wait you have to wait out. The things the good thing is this you can just wait out a lot of these missiles. Because I can just wait until the missiles fuels run out. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, that worked out nicely. Yeah, the real guns managed to do the job. I mean antimatter can just do a lot of damage. I mean antimatter is that this dealt three thousand damage. Essentially. The rate of fire is slow. But <laughs> The problem with antimatter is the range is really short on that. It's was it? It's 400 range. We want to upgrade those. We want to get those out of the way and then replace them with some light assault guns in time. Um, but yep, so far so good. That can be our main ship. Yep. Nope. That's essentially there as currently as a freighter, to be honest, because it can carry a lot more stuff. So this is our freighter. It's armed, but it's a freighter, and that will be our main ship at the moment. And it's got a full elite crew. Which means it's maximum um, combat. Or it is 82, which is huge. So we can repair our ships nicely. Uh, we've got a full speed of seven. Let's do one more. Let's do one combat um, encounter before we leave. Okay, we want to keep avoiding things that are chasing us down. There's a buffalo. I can deal with a buffalo. Okay, let's chase the buffalo down. That's not even fair. <laughs> this combat readiness is so low. Let's just deploy you. Let's just deploy you. Oh, he's like, he turned to... I was wondering why I couldn't deploy from the sides, but he actually turned to face me. Tab to open the map, click and R to target. Let's see what's got. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. So the antimatter uh, blasters are good guns. They're just good guns. Uh, and we need a lot of stuff out of that, which we can just immediately sell at the pirate base. Let's go sell stuff at the pirate base. Uh, what are we going to sell? We can sell. <laughs> sell weapons. Sell the weapons. Keep everything else. We'll keep the rest and go turn it in, actually. Yeah, we'll keep the rest and go put it... Oh, no. Let's just not do that now. I have got the spare supply space. So we're going to sell that. Get 10,000 credits for that. What have they got here? Um, light assault guns. Yes! That's exactly what we wanted. Light assault gun. Uh, light assault gun? Light assault gun. Brilliant. It's got a, it's got a DPS of... It's got a higher DPS, it's got a higher range, by about 200. Which means we can actually do a lot more with it. We can have increased um, magazines, so we have the ammo to fire, we can increase our capacitors and our venting system, and we are good. That is it, and that can actually change to that. That's fine, I don't mind firing the railgun and the assault gun at the same time, simply because it's not as excessive as the... Um, um, anti-matter blasters were. So yeah, we'll end it here, I think. Uh, oh god, we'll flee back, we'll flee back to our station, and when we get to the station, it'll call the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, this is our little fleet now, two ships. It is currently growing. Let's see if we can add something better next time. I uh, want to take those out. You know what? I'm going to end the video here. Yeah.
I'm going to end the video right here. In the next video, we're going to catch them. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!